Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean from Sean Does DIY. My family and I are getting ready to go on our annual spring break camping trip, and one of the things I've always wanted to have when we go camping is one of these gas griddles. So I went ahead and picked one up the other day. But instead of, you know, just like taking it out and putting it on the picnic table or whatever the campsite, I'm gonna install this on a swing arm on the bumper on the back of my camper. So in this video, we're gonna install the swing arm, we're going to assemble the griddle, install it on the table, and then we're gonna try out the griddle. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna figure out where I'm gonna put the swing arm. Uh, on this camper here, I actually have a propane connection underneath the bottom here that I can attach a hose to and then run to the griddle. So I'm gonna put my swing arm on this side. And obviously one thing you wanna do is you wanna measure, you make sure you don't cover up your, um, your tag, your license plate, um, and you don't want this to extend out past the edge of the camper, right? So I think if I put this right about here, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's not going to cover up my license tag, and then when it's all folded in together, it's not going to extend out to the side of the camper while I'm traveling. So, yeah. So, but the first thing I think I want to do is I want to go ahead and move the spare tire over to the other side since the griddle mount and all that stuff's going to be right here. All right. So, just going to take off the. Spare tire here. So I'm just going to position it in the center between the uh, plug and the ladder here, and that should be good enough. And I'll put that tire back on later because I'm ready to get the, uh, the grill installed. All right, so let me get all the pieces to the uh, swing arm and then we'll get that thing installed. Be right back. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is get the swing arm base installed. Uh, it comes with these U-bolts and these uh, nylon lock nuts. Um, so let's get it in place and then we'll get it uh, tightened down. Let's see, make sure it's not extended past the, camper, the edge of the camper there. All right, that looks pretty good. Hopefully they fit. All right. You just want to make sure you get at least a couple threads through that lock nut. All right. Cool. All right. So we got to take out this bolt right here. So this is the top of the, of the uh, swing arm that the thing rests on. All right, so it should be pretty easy. There it goes. And you want to make sure it's tight, but you don't want it so tight that you can't move it. Cool. And so when you're stowed and you're traveling, this just sits here and you got a little pin that just kind of goes in here and keeps it from moving around on you. 
Cool. All right. Now, let's see. So then this is the table that the uh, grill sit on. It just kind of sits on here like so. There we go. Cool. And then when I'm ready to use it, I can just swing it around over here or wherever I want. Nice. All right, cool. All right, so let's go and get the grill assembled, put it on there, and then we'll get that grill seasoned and ready to go. All right, be back in a sec. All right, guys, let's get into this box and see what's in here. I am so excited. I've always wanted one of these things. See what we got in here. Instructions. That looks like the bottom. Let's see if we can slide it out of here. Don't see anything else in there? We can get rid of the box. surface. Nice. There it is. This looks like maybe the drip tray thing or something. Let's see. Nope. This the gas. All right. Okay, so it comes with uh, one really mushed up. Uh, Aluminum little tray thing that they get some swap out. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's see what we got in this bag. Looks like the feet. A hundred dollar Vino voucher from Naked Wines. All right. We got a sticker. Got some coupons. Uh, register your thing in a bag. All right, outstanding. All right, let's see what we gotta do first. Doesn't look like it's too overly complicated here. <laughs> but I'm gonna make sure we do right. Let's see, precaution safety tips, blah, 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 griddle safety, here's all the parts. Oh man, all right. Let's see, assembly instructions. Remove the griddle body from the package, do all that, place the griddle upside down on a soft surface. I'll just use my out feed table here, close enough. All right, use four M8 flange nuts to attach four griddle legs to the bottom of the griddle. All right. Well, it says turn it upside down, but how am I supposed to get my fingers in there and do the nuts, huh? All right. Well, we shall figure it out. So, don't turn it upside down. Put it on its end. All right, so. I really don't need a, a wrench for that. That's cool. Just put it on there and you give the leg a twist. It'll tighten it down good enough. side.
All right, cool. Next, step three, ensure that the fuel nozzle is housed within the burner opening. All right. All right, looks like we're still upside down. All right. It is in there. So what they're talking about is fuel nozzle is down there. Okay. Turn the griddle over so it stands on its leg. Check the ignition needle. The needle needs to be placed three to seven millimeters above the burner tube. All right, three to seven millimeters. All right. That's probably close enough. I could check it, I suppose. Let me get my, uh, my measuring thing real quick here. Oh, here he goes. All right, guys, we'll get, we'll get real fancy. We'll go ahead and get the, uh, the electronic deal out here. All right, mode, millimeters. All right, three to seven millimeters. All right, well, there's, there's five. Let's see. All right, actually, we do need to move it. I'm glad we checked. All right, just bend it down a little bit. Okay, perfect. All right. Next. Place the griddle top on the griddle body. Make sure the four positioning pegs on the griddle top are seated into the griddle body. Place the grease cup on the rear of the griddle. All right. That was hard. All right. And the grease cup on here. Oops. There we go. Wow. That's hard. Cool. All right. Insert the gas regulator and tank into, oh wait, screw the LP gas bottle. All right, we're not gonna do that because I'm gonna plug it right into my camper. So here's the regulator. Now I went ahead and got This big old hose here. All right. So, let's see. Oh, here we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this adapter that will plug into this, that will screw onto this hose here, like so. And it's kind of nice. It's got a uh, shutoff valve built into it. So, I'm not going to tighten it down all the way because I'm going to adjust it over there. And then this is an adapter that goes right into my uh, uh, gas feed on the back of the camper. So this, turn this thing so we can see it. All right, but if you're just using one of those little LP, you know, camp stove things, use this, right? And then you just screw it into here. And then you attach your, your LP gas right here. And here's your regulator for the LP gas. All right, I'm definitely gonna hang on to this though and I'll put it back in its bag and save it, just in case, you know, in case I want to use it when I don't have the camper. All right, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing installed on the camper. Um, you know, what first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna give this a good washing to get off whatever, you know, coating I might've put on it for manufacturing. And then we're gonna put it on the camper, we're gonna fire it up. All right, so this griddle table is designed for the Blackstone 17-inch griddles. The holes that are in the table are pre-drilled for the feet on the griddle to fit into. I'll just get this thing on here. All right, looks pretty good, it's pretty sturdy. All right, so next thing I need to do is install the gas. I went ahead and installed the gas, attached the gas line to the camper, um, and you're just gonna, I'll swing this around so we can see. Pretty easy, just gonna stick it on here and screw it in. And these, you never wanna use a tool on these. You just want to, uh, you know, just hand tighten it. All right, good to go. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and open the gas. Swing this back around over here. Cool. All right. So we're just gonna push the uh, the starter in here. Get it started. Getting the gas. All right. There it goes. Nice. Cool. All right. Let that warm up a little bit, and then gonna get some bacon to season it up. All right. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Can't wait to get some uh, burgers and dogs, eggs, whatever we want to cook on this thing. Well, that's about it. It's pretty easy uh, getting this uh, swing arm installed, getting this uh, griddle was super easy to put together. Um, so yeah, hey guys, if you found the video helpful and you liked it, do me a favor, uh, smash that thumbs up button. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be pretty cool too. So, all right guys, I'm gonna get this bacon cooking and then I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> all right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh yeah, looks good.